see what you show are you ever afraid uh, afraid or think about the fact your work online may be tracked by the feds like how do you consider the discord to be safe with our gar uh, conversations and there aren't any pigs around no I'm, I'm i'm assuming there probably are pigs around right and just so you know gang after 9 11 i spoke up against 9 11 right uh, against the invasion of Afghanistan and stuff like this and before 9-11 happened I was watching the markets and at the time I had a broker and I called up my broker a few months before 9-11 I told him sell everything and the guy's like what I said sell everything he goes why I go there's something happening I don't know what I'm looking at the data something's going on I found out about 9-11 because my broker months later in the morning called me up woke me up and he goes Chicho, how did you know? I go, how did I know what, man? I'm sleeping. I'm not up at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the morning watching the markets, right? He goes, how did you? You haven't, you haven't seen? Turn on your TV. Turn on your TV. So I turned on TV. I saw, wow, the first building had hit and the second building had, right? I'm like, oh, shit. He goes, how did you know? I go, I didn't know this was going to happen. I knew something was going on because I was watching the numbers. Mathematics doesn't lie, right? Interpreters lie, right? Mathematics does not lie. If you know how to interpret the data... You can pretty much predict a lot of things, right? So he was like, what? No, I could crash, did this, did this. I'll tell you guys this. I dropped a hint a while ago. After 9-11, I worked. During that time, I was working in the Cuban cigar store for a year and a half. Uh, not a year and a half. A day and a half a week. For a year and a half, for a year or so. Day and a half a week in a Cuban cigar store because I wanted to be around cigars, right? And during that time, there was a there was a lounge, and we would have a lot of conversations with all kinds of people, from people from the United States, all over the world, from lawyers, doctors, gangsters, regular Joe Blow, business owners, everybody, right? And I would talk to them just the way I talk to you guys, right? And at that time, I was talking about the markets and stuff like this. Something's big is going to happen. A piece of shit American, right? during that time went back to the united states believed the propaganda and told the fbi that there was a guy in a cuban cigar store in canada in vancouver that was talking about something big happening so CSIS in canada investigated me and i had an interview with them in 2002 right because they wanted to question me to find out if i was a bad person obviously they found out that i'm just chicho right and the CSIS person, cop, said, well, obviously, we're not here to, um, to go beyond this interview because we've already looked into you, right? We've already looked into you, and we know you're not affiliated with anything. You're, I'm Armenian. I'm Christian. Because <laughs> we know you're Christian. You're this, you're this, you're this, you're this. I said, yeah. And there was other things happening there too right and he said well i'm going to write the report send it to the united states to the fbi okay and they will have their report and i can tell you that we're just going to say this was a false alarm this person has nothing to do with anything he's totally innocent and stuff like this i go can i read the report and the guy said absolutely not i go well how do you know they're going to take your report they're in the right light how do you know if I cross the border into the United States, I'm not going to get thrown in handcuffs and flown to Guantanamo Bay or flown to one of their black sites because I knew at the time they had black sites. He goes, well, you don't, but I'll guarantee it. I go, how are you going to guarantee it? Can I have your number, name? Or are you going to cross the border with me? Because I have family in the United States. And in 2002, I stopped going into the United States because I don't know what that report said. I refused to put my life on the line. Right. That's one of the reasons I haven't left British Columbia for over 20 years now or 20 years now. Right. I've mentioned multiple times. Gang, there's a reason why I started writing articles in the mid 2000s. There's a reason why I put anomalies, prisons and geophysics together. Right. Because I saw them coming after me, investigating me because I was an anomaly. Gang, we are in those times now, but amplified. Wake the F up right the camps are already built wake up wake the f up at that time the the CSIS officer and check this out i was at home right and someone uh 
that worked at the at the cigar store called me up one of my colleagues called me up said chicho there's ceases here looking for you i go ha 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 funny 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 she goes no 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 dude i'm like i'm serious ceases was here looking for you i go what are you talking about ceases was here looking for me he's like they want to question you i go come on get serious and then one of the other people got on you go no no chicho like literally they were here i go whoa so i sent out an email at the time i had an email list about markets and stuff like this just what i'm doing here but it was email list right i've been at this for a while so i sent out an email list saying doo, 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 doo. all this is going on now during the interview the ceases the rcmp officer ceases told me he recommended that i don't tell anyone about what happened that we had an interview i said you're out of your mind i already told him i'm coming to this interview and i got a lawyer by the way I told I, I said you're out of your mind I've already told people that I'm coming to the, that I'm having this interview and I'm gonna write a follow-up to inform them what took place and I did okay gang centralized power commits genocide that became clear or that has been clear throughout history and after that interview I started a couple of years after I started writing blogging because I realized this wasn't going to stop right and anomalies prisons and geophysics how governments use data and how to stop them was one of the first articles I ever wrote it was my attempt to try to wake people up right this is a serious situation I hope you appreciate it gang i'm scrolling all the way down <laughs> ding bobber holy shit Chicho, this is new i've never heard the story no i haven't gone this deep into it but since they're pushing this hard and in certain western countries they're about to fill concentration camps it's time to reveal some additional information Oh, thank you, uh, Chico Chu. It was, it, I was devastated. I was very pissed, man. I told everyone, and I would get in conversation. And they're like, oh, Chicho, you shouldn't have been talking about that stuff. I go, do you realize what the fuck it is that you're saying? Because a moron in the United States pointed a finger at someone in Canada in a Cuban cigar store, they put this whole machine churning to investigate me. I go, this is the type of shit happens before genocides take place. Do you understand? And they would go, oh, you're exaggerating, Chicho. I go, you guys are fucking dumb. Right? Eagles and cycling. Where can I watch this again? I'll have this up on here. Bitchute, Rumble, and Odyssey. These two sites. Bitchute, Rumble, and Odyssey. The full live stream will be there and in for two weeks it'll be on uh it'll be on bitchute it'll be on twitch okay and thank you very much uh chico chu um it it affected me i can honestly tell you it affected me when secret police something like ceases or or Mossad or or the Gestapo come calling come knocking on your door that rattles you a little bit but I stood up to bullies all my life and I'm not the, about to bend the knee now or then crisp Doop. but like smallpox there's no cure for it only lower the symptoms so they may be given vitamins and some yeah i don't know crazy broth and chicho so in some way we are in the middle of the zombie apocalypse people are not aware they became zombies and you and some other exceptions are still awake of it yeah pretty much crazy Parathans. pretty much pretty much bojo master deep breath deep breath gang deep breath yeah 
It was Gestapo at my door saying if I could, if they could speak to me. And guess what? At the time, I kept, I, my friends knew, but I kept it hidden from family because I knew they would be devastated. Why? Because we are Armenian. And his genocide has been committed on Armenians before, and we know our history. And they would have been freaked, right? So I kept it hidden from my immediate family because I didn't want them to get scared. 